every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hossa. Today we will be learning how to create a toggle button. So last week we wrote our first sketches on an LED and a button. This week we will continue on this. Toggle button. We want to have an LED lit by pressing a button. When we press once again on this button, the software must switch off the LED. This assignment seems easy, but we have to take into account a number of things. Firstly, we must be able to find out whether the LED should be off or on. We will therefore have to read or keep track of the state of the LED first and then invert that state. If we define a pin as digital output on the Arduino board, we can define the state of that output. So we can use the digital read LED instruction to keep track of the status of the LED. Second, secondly, we do, we do not know how long the user will press the button. Either a short or a long press on the button should produce the same result. In this week I will not have a solution for that yet. Thirdly, we will also have some problems with bounce. Bounce is a phenomenon that occurs when we close or open a circuit. We will solve this problem next week. Now task toggle button, the schematic. Create two circuits, just like, in the, just like in the last video, one push button and one LED on your breadboard. In series, with the LED we will always set a resistance minimum of 220 ohm. So we start off again with declaring some of the most basic stuff like the LED and the button. Now we want to set our LED state. Note that an integer works the, same, works the same way for high and low. High meaning 1 and low 0 of course. Unlike in the previous video, we were using char character. But from now on, we will start using int for high and low. Now we want our current and previous state of our button. So we write int button current has no value yet. As this integer will constantly check the current state of the button. Now we write button previous equals low. Notice that this state has to be the opposite of the LED. Now go to our setup and again like in our previous video we add our two pin modes for our button and LED. By now you should know what each of these mean. Now we go to our loop function. Firstly we want to know the current reading of our button. So we write button current equals to digital read button. By now you should know what digital read means. Now if we press the button, so we write and the previous state is low, then we open our brackets again and write another statement. If the LED, uh, LED state is high, then the LED state has to be low and otherwise the LED state has to be high. So this meaning if the LED was already on, now the LED has to turn off and otherwise it has to turn on. This seems pretty obvious to me. Now after the if statement is complete, we can assign a task to our LED, so to our LED state. Now we write LED sta standing for the pin number and LED state standing for the either assigned high or low value from, our, from in our if statement. And now before we restart the loop, we want our button previous to take, to take over the current state. So it has a new previous state. So we write, we will firstly verify this. And as you can see, I forgot a semicolon. So uh, a semicolon is expected here. 
and as you can see it's verified perfectly. Now let's try and upload this. If you want the schematics and the code from today's video or from any of my previous videos you can go to my Patreon page. Here you get access to a number of things such as your name that gets to be in my credits, all of my schematics and code, a digital signature and digital poster and adblock forgiveness where you will be mentioned in my credits that you are forgiven for using adblock. What to do now? Go to Amazon and buy yourself again like in previous video an LED, a button, a resistor, wires and waste again a lot of money or buy the original Arduino starter kit or the cheaper version. This will contain all of the equipment you will need for all of my videos in the future. Well most of the videos of course. Link will be in the description. There should be an affiliate link and a normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product. This does not mean the price is higher for you so don't worry. But if you want to support me, definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. So that's it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you won't miss out on the next video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.